All right, friends, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel 9 and Vue 3 application. So, in this video, we'll be working on this edit section over here. So, first of all, let me give you the final demo of what we're gonna build throughout this video so that you will have some idea. So, here we have this icon for editing this specific user. So, if I click on this, we are getting this model, we are getting this form with those field values, right? If I click on another user, we'll be getting those user information right and we can change the user information click on save and it got sensed which is perfect and we're also adding the validation so if I remove this name then it is saying that name is a required field let me bring this back and we are not getting that error right and for the password field we are making this as optional while editing the user information so we can save this specific user without changing his password but when someone tries to change the password uh, and they just enter two characters then we are adding the validations and it is saying that password must be at least eight characters right this is perfect also throughout this video we'll be fixing some of the issues that we get while using we validate and this edit model so make sure to watch this video till the end so now let's get started okay so let me open up the code editor and let me go to list users.view and first of all let's add the icon over here for editing users right so for that let me go over here and let me add an anchor tag and inside this let's add an icon for editing fa fa edit and which is perfect and we are getting this icon now when we click on this icon we need to see that model right so let's work on that part and here let's listen for the click event and prevent the default behavior and let's call the method called edit user and we can pass that user okay so we haven't defined this function so let me go over here let me clear this and then create that method const edit user and we'll be using the arrow function and inside this we need to get the model and the model is create user model so we'll be changing this name create user model dot model and then so okay and let me change this name to user form model okay so that we can use this for creating as well as editing now let me go to the browser and click on this one and we are getting that model which is perfect now here instead of add new user we need to show edit user so let's do that part first of all add new user and this one over here let's wrap this with a span tag with the conditional so span add new user span edit user let me put this first edit user and then add new user and we can add the conditional here so v if if the editing is true if we are currently editing then we'll display this name otherwise we'll display a new user right but we haven't defined this so let's define this constant over here let's do editing and by default let's make this as false and we are also making this as reactive now when we show that model from here we need to make that editing as true right editing dot value equals true so make sure to use dot value over here because we are making that as reactive using ref right so make sure to use dot value so now if i refresh this page click on edit and it is saying edit user which is perfect but if I click on add new user then it is still saying edit user because we haven't said that editing is false so let's do that part as well let me go to that button called add new user over here instead of using data toggle and this target let's use a function over here let's listen for the click event and call the method called add user let me go above and create that const add user equals arrow function 
and inside this while adding a new user we will set the editing value as false so editing dot value equals false and after that we will be showing that model which is perfect let me refresh it add new user and we are getting add new user edit and we are getting edit user which is fine now while editing this user we need to get that specific user information fill out on this form so here this is empty so let's work on that part and to make this workable with v validate we can use one props called initial values on our form component so let me go to the form component over here and after this one let's use a props called initial values and for the initial values let's use form values and we haven't defined this yet so let's define that let me go to the top over here let's const form value equals and let's set this as ref and while editing that user we can set those values and here we'll be getting that user information so we can set those using form values dot value is we are using ref so we need to add dot value over here and we can set that is this user so first of all let me do console dot log to see that user information let me open up the console and let me edit this and we are getting id name email but we are also getting these additional fields so we don't need those fields so we can set that manually over here we can do id is user dot id name is user dot name and email is user dot email let me remove this let me refresh edit user and we are getting that information fill out over here and we are getting that user name but for email and password we are getting the saved email and password from here so to fix this issue we need to clear the form so that uh, it will get cleared and new value will get replaced so for that we can take the advantage of template reference that comes with view so first of all let me go to the form component over here and over here let me define ref and let me give it a name as form and on this form component that comes with uh, v validate we have reset form method to reset the form so we can simply use that so while editing the user we need to reset the form as well over here if we were using view 2 then we used to do something like this dot dollar refs form and then we can call the reset form method right but if we do this and click on edit then we are getting that cannot read properties of undefined reading refs so we are not allowed to do this with view 3 so for view 3 we need to follow different technique so first of all we need to define the reference and we need to give it a name as the ref value so for that it will be form and we need to set this as null for the first time okay and from our method over here instead of doing this we need to do form dot value dot reset form let me remove this refresh it click on edit and we have this information fill out which is perfect now let's work on this validation part so if i click on the save and it is saying that password is a required field but for editing this specific user we don't need the password is required every time right so let's add validation for editing user so let me go over here and we have defined this scheme already so let me copy this and paste it over here first of all let me find every schema so here we are using that schema and let me change this to create user schema and for this one instead of create user let me change this to edit user scheme okay and for now let's remove the password validation and let's add the conditional in our form component over here we are using create user schema right so let's add the conditional 
called if the editing is true and we'll be using edit user schema otherwise we'll be using create user schema okay let me refresh this click on edit now we do not have validation for password right which is fine but we don't want to remove the password validation completely because anyone can add just two characters of password previously we were validating that password should be of at least eight characters right so let's add one conditional call if someone tries to enter something and if it is less than of eight characters then we'll be showing that validation and if someone leaves it as empty then we'll not be showing any validation for the password right so we can do that uh, using conditional so let me go to the update user schema or edit user schema over here here let's add the validation for password and it should be your string and here we can say in when method and inside this we can pass the arrow function okay and here we'll be receiving password is a first argument and schema is a second argument and inside this we can return if there is a password then we need to add the validation right so we need to do a schema dot required and it should be meaning of add characters then otherwise we'll just return the schema which is perfect and let's add comma over here and let me refresh it click on edit and here when someone leave it as empty then we are not showing that validation message but when someone tries to enter three characters and click on save then we are getting the validation message which is perfect but if it is of eight characters then that validation will get removed now the final thing is to click on save and then update that user information right so let me open up the console let me go to the network tab click on save and over here if I go to the header sections then we are using that same endpoint for creating the user so let's use different endpoint for editing user so for that let me go to the form so over here we need to add the conditional as well so if we are editing then we need to call the method called update user otherwise we'll be calling the method called create user okay so let's create that method called update user over here update user it says error function and we'll be receiving the values and over here let me do console.log and then values let me refresh it edit and click on save then this is not working right and this is the weird issue that we get while using we validate and that form component so here let me go to the form component and this part is not working as expected so let me remove this and from here let's just call one method called handle submit and let's create that method over here const handle submit and we'll be receiving values and over here we can add the conditional call if the editing is true then we'll be calling this method called update user otherwise we'll be calling the method called edit user now let me try this once again click on edit click on save and if i go to the console we are getting that user which is perfect and now inside this update user method we need to perform the xcs put request so let's do that part axios dot put and we are already getting the code suggestion from github copilot so let me use this code and now let me describe this code to you here we are performing the put request to this endpoint and for the id we are getting that from values.id and we are getting the form information uh, like user email and password from this values variable and after we get the response we are getting the index of a specific user that we are we are editing right and we'll be setting that specific user information that we get from the response as response to data and we are hiding the model and if we get an error we are catching those error and we are logging and finally we are doing form reset so we are resetting the form so let me try this if we get any error let me refresh it 
click on edit click on save and we are getting 405 method not allowed and also we are getting undefined right over here over here we are getting the values dot id is undefined so we do not have id inside of our values to get the id let me use form values that we have already defined over here this one right and we are setting those form values while clicking on that edit model so we can easily get that id so over here instead of values let's do form values and here we need to use dot value as we are using ref on this form values right let me save this try it again edit click on save and we are getting the id but it's still we are getting that method not allowed because we haven't defined this route so let me go to the web.psv file and let's define that route route put api slash users and we'll get the specific user and we'll be using user controller and we'll be calling the method call update so let me go to this controller call user controller and over here let me define that method public function update we're using route model binding as we'll be getting that user information and inside this let's update this specific user so we can do user update and we'll be passing the name, email, and the password, right? And for the password, let's add the conditional call. If there is password on the request, then we'll be decrypt that password. Otherwise, we'll be using that old password, okay? And finally, let's return the user as we'll be using that information on the front end to replace old information with the new one, right? So now let me refresh it, click on edit, and click on save and it got saved right we are not getting any error let me try by changing this name also email and click on save and this got changed which is perfect let me remove this let me try one more time and if we add just three characters password then we are getting validation message but if we enter eight characters password and click on save then this information got saved so this much for this video i hope you learned something from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one